Hey everybody, um, I wanted to just come live real quick. I'm making meatloaf for dinner and I thought I would share a couple quick tips um, just that I do for my meatloaf. So normally meatloaf is like really simple but some people really stress over it. So um, I just thought I would share kind of what I do. So um, a lot of people, you know, when you make like uh, meatballs and things like that, you add onion and garlic and all those things, right? So for my meatloaf, it's kind of like one big meatball, okay? Um, but I like to saute my onion and garlic before I add it to the meatloaf mixture. Say that five times fast. Um, okay, so real quick, I'm going to tell you what's in my mixture here. And sometimes I switch it up just depending on what I have in the fridge. Hi, Jan. Did you have an amazing time in Florida? I mean, I know you live there now and all, but... <laughs> okay, so what I have in here so far is um, a pound of 90, 10, 90, 90%, 10% uh, ground beef. So very lean ground beef. Um, I'm not good at measuring. I think you guys already know that about me. Um, but I also have in here some Italian seasoning, some ketchup, just like a bunch of ketchup. I don't know, maybe if I have to measure like a quarter of a cup. Um, some breadcrumbs, maybe about a quarter of a cup. An egg. Um, what else is in here? That's it so far, I think. So I'm just going to use, this is like my little mini mix and scraper. No, no, no. The mix and chop. Hi there. Hi, Judy. Yes, I'm going to be in California. I cannot wait for vacation, you guys. Less than two weeks. Hello. Cannot wait. Um, so... My meatloaf, my, I mean, my meat might still be a little frozen, but that's okay. It's going to be great. Okay, so, so far, let's recap. Let me make sure I have it all. I have some ketchup. Normally, I put salsa in here, but I didn't have any. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad you guys saw Christy. Yay. Okay, back to the meatloaf. <laughs> I know, it's like shiny squirrel, squirrel. Okay, um, meat, 90%, so super lean ground beef, okay? Um, some breadcrumbs. So you could use either um, breadcrumbs or you could use, what's that other stuff? What's this other stuff I have? Um, panko crumbs. So whichever one you have, you can use either one. I like the Italian style breadcrumbs. Um, I have some ketchup in there and an egg. I'm going to add some milk because my mom always used to use milk. So I'm going to add a little bit of milk. That was for Sam. I hope he watches this. Okay, so like a little splash of milk. And then I'm going to, um, so this is like another little secret. Let me get this ready. So um, I hope you guys all had an amazing weekend. Um, all right, here we go. So let me get this ready and then I'm going to tell you what's in my skillet. Okay, that's good. Okay, so to that mixture, I'm going to add, I just sauteed up some onions and garlic. So you can saute whatever you want to add. So I never um, add the veggies raw. I always like to saute it in a little bit of olive oil, and then I add it. So I'm not making a whole lot of meatloaf here, so I only do a little bit. And I actually keep my onion already chopped up in the freezer. So it's all ready to go whenever I need it, okay? So I'm not chopping an onion for this. It's already in the freezer. I'm just throwing it in there. I do have fresh garlic. I use my garlic press. Everyone needs one of those. It's made out of zinc, so if you get onion or garlic smell on your hands, you can always um, put it under water with your hands and it'll get rid of the smell. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so that is our meatloaf mixture, but I wanna show you this new skillet. I love this new skillet. Um, I just want to show you, I'm scared to touch that because my phone might fall. I didn't bring down my, um, my tripod. I just wanted to do a really quick video. But I want to show you how easy this cleans. Hello. This is the new non-stick skillet. Um, I can't tell you what it's made out of. I'd have to read something. But I can tell you it's going to change your life. And normally that's what people want to know, right? So the really cool part about this skillet is the handle comes off. So now this can totally go on your table for a really pretty presentation. 
you can um, cook on the stove top in this, throw it in the oven, melt cheese on top, or whatever you're gonna do with this. Maybe you're gonna make a really big um, deep dish cookie, hello. Or maybe a pizza. I mean, you might wanna use the bigger one, the 12 inch, but I really love this because the handle comes off. So it makes storing these really easy. I know I have a pot rack up there, but one day, it, hopefully in the near future when I redo my kitchen, I'm not gonna have a pot rack anymore because those are all gonna be cabinets. And these are gonna be really easy to stack inside the cabinet because the handles come off. Also, they go in the dishwasher, right? I just changed your world. So the new nonstick skillets are amazing as well as the, uh, the other skillets. See them up there, the nonstick stainless. We did some fajitas in those on Friday night at my party and everybody loved them. So I was so excited for them to see that. So then to just reattach your handle, you just put it right back on there. This is the 10 inch skillet, so it's great for like a frittata, things like that. All right, so I'm gonna use my mini deep cover baker because it's so cute and it's orange and um, I just think it looks festive. So I'm just gonna use that. I'm gonna let my pan sit back there even though it's kind of clean, I still wanna rinse it out later. I am gonna use that for my, um, my green beans later on though. I'll do some oil and then I'll do um, a little bit of garlic and then throw my green beans in there and saute them up and they're gonna be amazing. Okay, so back to the meatloaf here. So if you see in here, I just threw the onions and the garlic right on top and I'm just gonna use my mix and chop. I have a mini one here. You could totally use your regular mix and chop to mix all this up. So you just wanna incorporate all of that stuff. So like I said, normally I add salsa. I didn't have any salsa. So I could add some maybe um, some fire roasted tomatoes, um, but I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra ketchup. It'll be fine. Mm, ketchup fixes everything. Um, for those of you that are wondering about the whole competition everyone and their cousin and mother voted for, I still have not heard anything, which is, I think, a really good sign. Um, so especially since on the um, website, it says that um, we should hear something by the 10th because I think we have to be somewhere on the 11th, which I'll still be in California, but it's totally fine. It's going to be amazing. Everything's going to work out. Like Mary said, it's all for God. So if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. So don't worry. As soon as I get that phone call or email or whatever they do, I will definitely go live and tell everybody, okay? So don't you worry. Okay, so my meatloaf is all incorporated. You could also add barbecue sauce to this and bacon, or maybe even some sauteed mushrooms. You could add whatever you like. But Brian likes it just like this, okay? Okay. <laughs> so let me get um, all this meat out of here. So the last little trick I have is I like to take the ends the end pieces of my bread. And I like to just stick them down there at the bottom because I'll tell you why. There's gonna be a lot of, I like to get as much of the grease out of the meat as possible. So there's gonna be a lot of grease. So this bread is just gonna kind of sit at the bottom and when that grease falls down, it'll just catch it all and soak it all up. So that's why I like to use it. Um, so when you take your meatloaf out when it's done, the bread seriously just peels right off and all that fat and and uh, grease you could just throw it away so that's uh, my little trick I hope you like it give me some hearts or likes if you already do that or if you think that is um, helpful I think so I love that trick I think I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper really quick I forgot about that so let me add oh and I like to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese so there's some pepper. My salt shaker is out. I need to replace it. I need to add some more salt to it. Let me just add a little bit of salt. Not a lot. And then, what was I grabbing? Oh boy, what was I grabbing? Oh, Parmesan cheese. Okay, no judging. I totally have some grated Parm cheese. Just because we had it left over from the okay. That's the only cheese I have in my fridge that I don't grate myself. Well, sometimes I grate it myself. Like there's totally a block in there, but I always have extra like that big thing in there 
because I use it a lot in a lot of different things. Okay, so just mix all that up. I just sprinkled a little bit of Parmesan cheese. All right, so our meatloaf is all ready. Just gonna get it all nice and combined. And then we're just gonna throw it in here. And I, I like to bake my meatloaf at like 350 for like 30 to 45 minutes, just depending on um, how well you like it done. Um, so I think about 30 minutes is good, especially for this size. It's not super big. All right. So you'll see as the meatloaf cooks, it's gonna start coming away from the sides and um, that grease is gonna start going down. Now, like 10 minutes before it's done, I, um, I squeeze a whole lot of ketchup on top and then I bake it more. How do you watermark your videos? Oh, Christina, hi. Um, it's in the wand down at the bottom. There's like a little star when you go live with a wand. Um, I, I used to have a wand in my kitchen. I was going to show it to you. But if you scroll over, there's filters, and uh, it's in there. That's how I found it. This is going in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Sandy, I can't wait to see you either. Um, and I will um, post a video or I'll post a picture when it's all done. Okay? I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget, there's three different ways to get your products. You can um, host your own party this month, get it 60% off. So this guy, I think he would be around 20 or $30 or so. Um, and it comes with a lid. It's pretty cool. Um, you can always order on my website, get a free gift when you spend more than $75. Or you can join my team. That's the most fun part. Right, Christina? Christina's with my team. Um, so join our team. And, um, you know, you can earn all of this in your kit. Or we actually earn all the new stuff for free. So, or you can get it right now, 50% off one time um, for all the items at different times. You don't have to get them all at once, but you can get all the new items half off before the new fall catalog comes out. Um, and the fall catalog, I'm just going to say, it's amazing. I haven't seen the whole catalog, just a few pieces because I'm in a, a bunch of different um, committee groups. But I will say I saw a couple things and... It's really cool. I'm super excited. Okay, this is going in the oven. I hope you guys have a great weekend. If you want to join uh, my VIP group, it's Cooking with Christina and Pampered Shop. Talk to you later. Bye.